a wooden cylinder, 600 mm in diameter, relative density 0.5, has a concrete cylinder, 600 mm long, of the same diameter, relative density 2.5, attached to one end. Determine the length of wooden cylinder for the system to float in stable equilibrium with axis vertical. Relative density is also specific gravity. So this is the situation. We have, we'll find L here of the wooden or the timber, wooden cylinder. Then we have attached at the bottom portion the concrete cylinder so that there's a possibility that it can float upright. So the diameter is 0.6, radius 0.3. This is the center of gravity or centroid of the wooden cylinder L over 2 from the bottom its bottom and plus 0.6 so L over 2 plus 0.6 from the bottom of the concrete cylinder there acts weight 1 then this is the center of gravity of the concrete cylinder uh, 0.3 meter from the bottom 0.3 meter from the junction so that's weight sub 2 then this distance is 0.5 of L plus 0.6. Then this distance is 0.3. I will not show it anymore. It's obvious. So weight 1 is specific weight of timber, wood, 0.5 gamma of water. Then area, because area is constant, I'll just call it area, then times length L. Weight 2 is 2.5 of specific weight of water, area times 0.6. So the total weight, there acts G here, the total weight, and we will call its distance from the bottom as YG later. So weight is 0.5 gamma of water area L plus 2.5 gamma of water area times 0.6. Factor out specific weight of water area, then we'll have quantity 0.5 L plus 1.5. So let's call this YG and let's solve for YG by Varignon's theorem. So weight equals buoyant force. Let's solve for the drop first. So let us say that's the water surface. That's a drop. Then This is center of buoyancy, which is half of the draft. So total weight times YG, total weight equals buoyant force. And the buoyant force is specific weight of water, the liquid, times area times the draft. Cancel out gamma of water times area, so the draft is 0.5L plus 1.5. Then GBO therefore can now be solved. YG minus trough over 2. But we have to derive YG first. By Varignon's theorem, total weight, gamma water area quantity 0.5L plus 1.5. YG equals weight 1.5 specific weight of water area L. Then its moment arm is quantity 0.5L plus 0.6 plus weight to 2.5 gamma of water area times 0.6, moment arm is 0.3. Cancel out gamma of water area, and we have 0.5 L plus 1.5 times quantity YG equals uh, 0.5 times L times 0.5 L, so that's 0.25 L square. 0.5L times 0.6.3L, then 2.5 times 0.6 times 0.3 is 0.45. So YG is quantity 0.25L squared plus 0.3L plus 0.45 all over 0.5L plus 1.5. So GBO therefore is YG 0.25L squared plus 0.3L plus 0.45 over 0.5L plus 1.5 minus draft over 2, which is 0.5L plus 1.5 over 2. So
So GVO is, let's just copy, then minus 0.25L minus 0.75. So simplifying GBO, 0.25L square plus 0.3L plus 0.45 minus 0.5L times 0.25 is negative 0.125L square. 0.5L times negative 0.75 is negative 0.375L. 1.5 times negative 0.25L is negative 0.375L. 1.5 times negative 0.75 is negative 1.125 all over 0.5L plus 1.5. So 0.5L square minus 0.125L square is 0.125L square. 0.3L minus 0.375L minus 0.375L is so 0.125L square minus 0.45L. Then 0.45 minus 1.125 is negative 0.675 all over 0.5L plus 1.5. Next, MBO, which is I over volume displaced. Moment of inertia is pi over 4.3 to the fourth for circular water line section. Divided by area, pi 0.3 square times draft, which is quantity 0.5L plus 1.5. Simplifying, 0.3 square over 4 is 0.0225 over 0.5L plus 1.5. So for this system to just float upright or in stable equilibrium or axis vertical, mg must be zero or greater or equal to zero, just about zero for it to be stable. So equating, that means MBO minus GBO equals zero or MBO equals GBO. So MBO minus GBO equals zero. So MBO equals GBO. MBO is 0 0.0225 over 0.5L plus 1.5 and GBO is 0.125L square minus 0.45L minus 0.675 all over 0.5L plus 1.5. So we can cancel the denominators then simplify 0.125L square minus 0.45L minus 0.675 minus 0.0225 so 0.125L square minus 0.45L minus 0.6975 equals 0. So solving for L in this quadratic formula, there's only one positive root, and that is 4.770. So that's it for this problem.